Raw Anatomy today with Christian Aluashi. He is the owner and um, a teacher at Master Keys Art School. Welcome to the show. Uh, lovely to be there. Thank you for having me again. I'm going to keep um, recording. Yeah, hands is kind of a, an artist sort of uh, thing. If you're, you know, I pride myself in being exceptionally good at things that other artists find difficult to do. Hands, yeah. ears, feet. Uh, things that, you know, sometimes are not pleasant because they're difficult. Why? Why are they so difficult? Um, because, I don't know, there's a lot of uh, phones and things and people overthink that. Okay. So, and often they don't have uh, an easy method to draw them. So uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, show you um, kind of a, a little easy method to, to draw hands. Okay. So I have kind of uh, a sheet here. You can follow along if you like. Okay. Thank you. That's right. You're the artist. You, you follow along here. Uh, but uh, for, for hands, I like to, because it's winter, it's kind of perfect. I like a bit kind of like, like a mitt. So you have this mitt. And if you can break it down into simple, simple shapes, like, well, it looks like a couple of beans. Right. Beans, <laughs> small beans, okay. Yeah, big beans, uh, small beans. Or just kind of warp spears, uh, spear, you know? Right. So, um, so if you could break it down into that, uh, it's, it's really that simple. So once you have uh, the, the outline, you can then add the detail. And, uh, and then from there, you just, uh, Put in the fingers. Okay. okay. And this is kind of like a cartoon hand. That is good. good. You know what? In cartoons, they always have four fingers. Uh, do you know why they do that? Well, yeah, because uh, well, Mickey Mouse, his hand will be really massive. Right. If they put like four thing, uh, like four fingers in one thumb. Right. So they just because their hands are so thick, you know, and uh, so people, so kids can see it, you know, on the big screen and things like that. Yeah. Okay. You know, okay. okay. That's what they do it. Because that's how I used to draw hands. I would have four four fingers in total, including yeah, the thumb. Yeah. That would be anatomically correct. Well, it's, it's good for uh, for cartoons. All right. What are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to do kind of a comic book type thing. Okay. Okay. So it's the same thing. You could uh, you could break it down into a mitt. You could kind of box it. There's different ways. You know, you can kind of treat it like a like a box with that. Okay. You know, there's the box. Try that. Okay. I'm gonna I wanna speak through. Okay. Um and uh you can put like the, the, the thumb there on the side. And I like to when I do this <laughs> I like to uh to put like in comics they always do with like one finger kind of sticking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. coming out a little bit. Yeah, but that's see the thing about art is like you want everything to be uh symmetrical and proportionate, but uh if you're good, you can play around with that. Okay. You know, like you, you learn the rules before you break them. Right. You know? right. And and you got to break them right. <laughs> yes, if you're going to break them, break them correctly. Yeah. With permission. Now, you just started a new block of classes that are uh, yeah. Well, you're starting them on the 17th, is that correct? Yes, okay. the next week. And people can still sign up? Yeah, you can sign up on, online with uh, PayPal even. You okay. save a, a couple of bucks. And, uh, you know, some of the supplies, uh, but I do offer uh, to pick up supplies if that's the case, but I, there's some pilots, uh, um, yeah, so I'm offering, if I may uh, off mention, uh, I'm offering uh, adult classes, uh, kids classes, uh, nine, sorry, seven to 13, right. and teens. Yeah, you decided to move into teens as well, Christian, I guess you saw a need out there for it? Well, there wasn't much. Uh, what I'm having difficulty with is like, you know, kind of reaching teens because they're, they're kind of different. It's, it's, they're kind of between the period where the parents are kind of uh, deciding their life for them right. and the them deciding, you know, so it's kind of, uh, you know, it's a different way to reach them kind of through, through different forms of media and things. So. And you've been open for a few months now, so have you had a good response? Yeah, very good, very good. And I'm actually, I'm getting more, uh, mostly small rooms because I'm new. And I still have a lot of private students, so I get called all the time. I have kind of for the season and welcome anymore. Excellent. All right. Let's, yeah, let's uh, the last one is kind of a, it's kind of a magic sort of uh, sort of thing. So is this an open hand here? Yeah, it's an open hand going like like this. Oh, okay. Like a blast of lightning coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. Just like that. You can tell that the kid is behind. Blast. <laughs> a blast of lightning, yes, Derek. There you go. <laughs> One of my best summers ever as a child 
was when I figured out how to draw cans. Yeah, oh yeah, I can imagine. I spent a whole summer and I was overdoing it. I was like drawing, at one point, just drawing every single knuckle you can imagine. Uh, more knuckles, actually, <laughs> than there were. And then, uh, and then finally, I just learned how to do like a hand like this in a very right. simple. And uh, I'll never forget that. Did you do a lot of superhero stuff? When you yeah, I did a lot of Batman. Yeah. Yeah. I used to over obsess and exactly like you said, draw them all the time because I got them wrong all the time. But I think that you might be happy with my results. Now, I'll show you what this the is before is. Right. I used to draw hands like this. You can see this little guy. We will send everyone to your website again. It's masterpieceartschool.ca. You can sign up right there on PayPal and get your teams and the other people he has that on. And he'll do uh, he'll do custom work for you as well. So you can talk to him about that if you're looking for a beautiful piece of art to add to your home. And we've got a great show tomorrow.